Hello, this is Devin. I am the lead developer of DevPress, and I wanted to show you our summit theme and kind of walk you through how to get it set up and what the customization options are. So when you first install this theme with a fresh install of WordPress, um, you'll see it's very simple, one column design. And the emphasis is really on these header images. And if you refresh, you'll see that those switch out because they display randomly. And you might want to swap these header images out or put a logo on in addition or do some different things with those. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're logged in, go ahead and click the customize menu item. And this brings up all the options that you have for the theme. And if you go under here in header image, you can see all the presets that are available. So if you really like one of those, you can select that and save it and publish it. You also have the option of doing no background image if you wanted. So you could just hide that and then it would go to the default gray. Or you can upload one of your own choosing. And I'll go ahead and do that. I've already picked one out. Your image doesn't need to be the right size already. WordPress is going to resize it for you and give you the option of where to crop it. So I'm going to crop this up here. Now I have my own image. Not all images that you upload are going to allow you to read this text above them very easily. So we have some additional options in here for that header image. You can do an overlay color, and by default that's black. So we can change the opacity of that overlay color to 40. And you can see it immediately got a lot darker. And that really makes the, the, the text on top. It allows it to pop a little bit so that we can read it. Um, and you don't have to go with the black color. Maybe blue works a little better for the image that you're using. And you can see how it just kind of dulls out the image a little bit and makes that text a lot more readable. So that's one option if you are uploading an image that has some like color conflicts maybe with the text on top. Another thing you might want to do is if you have a business or an organization and there's a logo that you want to use, you can upload that and there's the option to the logo image tab here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this image my logo and pops right up there. You may or may not want the tagline underneath. It depends what you're doing on the site, but we do have options for that. You can hide the site tagline, or if you wanted, you could even change the color of it. So that's a quick overview of all the, the header options, and you can see those up at the top. I'm going to go ahead and delete that logo for now. The one thing you saw in the demo probably is that we had a couple icons underneath the tagline there that link to different social sites. And you'll probably also notice that we had a main menu in there. And those are both set up in a different place here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go to the menu section. So let's create two menus. One is going to be our social menu. I'm going to create that and select, you got to select the theme location down here. So we're going to select the social menu location and save it. And you can start adding links to your different social sites if you like. So on Twitter, you just need to go to this links uh, area here. Just type in the address for your social media site. So if you're on Twitter, let's do the press site and call that Twitter. And we'll add it to the menu. And the theme is smart enough to know where you are linking to. So when we look at this, make sure the menu saves. And load it here. We have the icon for Twitter, even though all we did was put in the URL. Um, and there's a number of supported sites that you can link to. Um, we'll do one more. We'll do one for GitHub, which is a coding site that a lot of programmers use. 
And you can see, just put in that URL. This link text here is optional, um, but I like to put it in so that I know what I'm linking to. And again, those menu items just pop right up there. You probably also have menu navigation for your main site, so you can go ahead and create a new menu for that. You might call that main. And your pages, if you have any, will show up here, and you can add those in. You could add custom links, you can add categories. If there's something that you don't see over here that you want to add in, check your screen options. Uh, maybe you want to link to a post or in tags, and you can do that by activating those in screen options. So we'll go ahead and we don't have a lot in this menu. Um, maybe we want to add a link to the home page too. So click that, save the menu. And I don't know, oh, I forgot to select it. So make sure to select the primary menu here. And this should just pop in. And if you're familiar with the menus, you know you can also do drop down menus and you just gotta drag those out. So you will have a child menu underneath. And um, let me set this back just briefly. If you're in a mobile layout, the design of the site is slightly different and you can see that and see how it looks by just making your screen a little smaller. And you can see how this opens up and it still displays your menu, but it does it a little nicer for the mobile layout. So that's a quick overview of how the menus work. One other thing you might not be aware of is that we can put widgets here in the footer. And there's two ways to do that. You can either do it from the customizer or you can go in to your dashboard and click on the widget screen. And so you might want to add a search to your site. You can just find that in your widgets. You can give it a title or not give it a title if you want. And those will pop up at the bottom. And we have some additional widget options. Let's say you have a lot of widgets. Maybe you're going to put in pages. and um, recent posts and some text so these will display in a, a little column like this by default but if you go back to your customization options Go ahead and select your footer here, and you can choose to do it as a two column layout or a one column and choose how those display out. In this text at the bottom, if you like, you can also change that here. Um, there's a couple other options in here we didn't go over. One is a highlight text, and that's for the, the images here or sorry for the link color here and I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe you want purple and what's cool is that highlight color also changes the button color changes and um, your link color changes the background option is one other design aspect we didn't go over and you can change it to a different color if you like maybe you want a lighter color you can also upload images here and so I'll select an image that I've picked out. And I can save that and publish that. And two great resources. One, if you're looking for free images to use, is Unsplash. And I'll link that in one of the posts here. Um, these are great commercial free images that you can use for free. They're high res. Um, and a lot of them look really great with this theme. And another site I'd recommend is Subtle Patterns, and they have a lot of great um, background patterns to use. So you can look through those and hopefully find some that make your site look really unique and really good. Um, there's a couple other general options in here for various things. You can just look through those and explore those. And if there is an option that you need for the site that you can't find, um, or you're trying to do something and you don't know how to do it, definitely email us and it might be something we can add to the theme in the future or there might be a way to do it through a plugin or some other way. So 
Really hope that you enjoy the theme and uh, definitely ask us any questions if you have them. Cheers.